Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lonecraft. Yes, I said Lonecraft. We have indeed changed the name of our server. It is still the unofficial Homecraft fan server, technically speaking, but now we have changed the name to Lonecraft. So from now on, my intro will be a little different. But anyway, um, I have not been able to record on the server for a really long time, and I'm happy to be able to start recording again. Ooh, that's pretty bad perspective changing but anyway and today we are going to be working on a blaze farm we're going to be using snow crashes design for this and as you can see i've already started clearing out the space for this um i will start measuring and seeing how much more space i will need i think it should be all right for the meantime seeing as it's got a face east so i think this should be right um where am i even looking but yeah, east. So I think there should be enough space going this way and that way for this to fit in. But I probably will end up having to expand it as well as for the room I plan to surround this as well. But anyway, I'm going to get started with that. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, I've already gathered the majority of the material and I'm pretty sure that's going to be basically everything I need for this. I've decided that probably for the room I'm going to be using uh, prismarine and prismarine block bricks uh, as well as some hardened clay but for the most part I will just be using iron for the base structure of this and just normal glass although you can use other blocks as well but anyway I'm going to get started with this and once I've made a little bit of progress I'll come back and show you guys okay so I have just finished building the actual base structure of this and now I'm starting to place the rails um, and I'm actually looking at this and thinking I've got 42 power rails power rails here and I think and I've got 20 so I'm really hoping this is going to be enough I think it might just be enough but I do have a little bit more gold so it's not the end of the world if it isn't but I think that was the main thing I was worried about even when I was getting the materials was that I wouldn't have enough gold and especially because when we changed hosts which we just did um, a few days ago we lost I think a few hours in the overworld as well as our end in nether uh, and then that was restored but obviously we still lost a few hours on the overworld which kind of was annoying because in that time I had been mining and got all the gold and um, all the resources needed so I had to redo that but it wasn't too bad um, I know some people kind of lost more work than I did so shouldn't complain too much but anyway I'm gonna just get finished placing the rails and doing the next few steps and then I will be right back so luckily I had just enough gold to do this I did run out with what was in my hot bar, but luckily I did have smaller chests, so I was able to just make the last two rows. And so, oh, <laughs> that was smart. Anyway, so now I've got this all powered up, and now I believe we have to place half slabs all along here. I'm just going to do them with stone slabs, um, just because I thought about doing quartz, but it doesn't actually matter too much, and um, I think this looks alright as well. So anyway, and then we've also got to place the slime blocks along, okay, I thought it was just lagging out, along here. And then I believe we've got to do glass around the back, but obviously I'm just going to be watching the video because I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're at that point where we are just enclosing the whole thing in glass. And then after that, I think we just have to do the actual crushing mechanism because we've got where they will be dropped off over here and then the crushing and redstone part will obviously be behind there and the one thing i am a little bit worried about is the redstone the redstone um component because yeah not really that i'm bad at redstone um obviously i will be following the tutorial but i mean um we are having a little bit of problems with the server at the moment. Uh, with redstone, certain things aren't really working. The tick speed's kind of affecting that. 
Uh, I'm hoping because it's only a small amount of redstone and there aren't hoppers being used. I think there's only one. I'm really hoping that it'll be okay. But I mean, I don't think it should be affected too much as if it does, it's just the crashing components. So I'm hoping, hoping that it'll be alright. But I suppose we'll see when we get there. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to finish off with the glass. Um, I'm also hoping I have enough glass. I do think I still have some sand left in some of my chests. Uh, at my base, but I don't also really want to have to go all the way there and then wait for it to smelt. I just want to kind of get this all done in one go. But I suppose if I have to, I have to. Come on, Pigman, move. Yeah, for some reason, I'm being joined by Pigman. And also, I keep having a little bit of a heart attack because I hear these blazes, although they're not from here. Sometimes they just are coming in um, when I'm clearing out an area and also just the sound it sounds like this <laughs> i think there's some out here that are just trying to shoot at me through the wall there you go i don't know if you could see that but yeah definitely trying to shoot me through the wall um and it freaks me out a hundred times because i don't necessarily want to die doing this um because then i have to come all the way back and it's just a, it's a pain but anyway i'm just going to finish encasing this with glass and I'm going to hope that I remember to actually do the roof. Because I think the hermits forgot to do that. Um, I'm not actually sure how that's going to work either. But we'll see. So, um, when I was clearing out, a um, little piggy kind of moved in the way. And I accidentally um, killed it. Well, not killed it. Hit it. And um, now all my little friends are mad at me. And... Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do this. I think maybe I should just kill them, but I don't think that's going to help. Um, yeah, I think that might be the only way to de-aggro them, though, and I kind of really need to finish this, so... Uh, maybe we just kill them? I'm not quite sure. Okay, so we have a working blaze farm, and it actually took a lot longer than I expected. Um, the design itself didn't take too long to build, but I did have a problem along the way. Um, luckily my grader came and helped me out with it. It turns out it was actually just um, a change in design, so to say. Um, they, uh, Snow Crash at, one, at some point realized that obviously they didn't always go down the tube and into the crusher. Um, and he did leave a link at the bottom of his video about it, but I didn't actually see it. But anyway, um, my Greta came and helped me with that. Uh, there's only a few blocks, I think, that had to be removed. And, um, then the other thing we did add was just dispensers. Because every now and then the blazes get angry. And, um, it's quite a weird thing because if one comes out the back here, and you kill it, or one in the area, then they all kind of rage at each other. <laughs> and break all the mine cards and, doesn't, and it doesn't work so that was the solution then obviously you just dispense them all in um, but yeah it was quite a mission um, to get this all working and I think I've also solved the problem with them getting out because although there's glass there so that technically shouldn't every now and then one seems to come out um, so what I did is put some more netherrack there and I'm hoping that will stop them but I'm not sure it seems to be working for the moment um, but yeah, for the most part, the farm is actually done, and I've started clearing out just this because I think what I might do for the entrance is have a blaze head, um, and then obviously having steps going down um, into where obviously you kill them, and then obviously down here as well because oh, I've blocked this off um, for the little collection area. But obviously, I'm going to be working on that and then show you guys what I've done. But I think for the most part, this is this is it. Um, I did originally want to do a, like a room around this, but seeing as you only need this part, and obviously if one's going to occasionally come down here and obviously cause problems, maybe it's just a good idea to block this off, sort of, just so that they don't come out and you don't have problems um, while AFKing here. Um, but other than that, we're just about done. So I'm going to get a few more things because obviously I need some clay and stuff for the actual blaze hair design that I've been working on. 
and then I'll see you guys. Okay, so now that I've got all the stuff, um, all the supplies for the actual blaze head, we can actually start to build it. So I'm just gonna get started with that. Um, it's actually quite a simple design. Um, oh, that's wrong. Um, simple design um, that I kind of changed from what I saw because I looked it up and I saw there was one that someone did that was out of um, wool and other stuff. And I used the same kind of color patterns for it, but obviously just changed it to hardened clay and added a few other blocks. Like I'm going to be using uh, smooth sandstone as well as some red stain, um, bleh, red sand for parts of it, just because I think it looks a little bit better and then there's at least a little bit more differentiating in color. Uh, my English is really bad today. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically it's just an 8 by design. And it isn't all that complicated. Uh, I did write it out just so I know where to place everything. Um, like that. And then red again. But yeah, what I plan to do is with the blaze head, I'll have the blaze head here. And I think what I'm going to do is have an opening through its uh, face. <laughs> If that makes sense and then have it come down into here probably will block this off and make it look a little bit more fancy um, and the other thing I am noticing with this design is that every now and then the minecart at the top seems to kind of get a little bit jammed and not throw them off properly which is also a little bit weird but it is picking them up now um, I don't know maybe one didn't go in but anyway I'm gonna fix that later and just get keep going with this for the moment um but anyway uh what i think i will also be doing is placing banners on the outside of this or at least have some something here i probably will end up also making this path a little bit bigger to get here as well as leaving some banners and things just so people can find it because navigating the fortress isn't the easiest thing uh it's kind of a mess as well so i think i'll probably do that uh, just so people know where to find it and can actually make their way here. Um, yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is just finish off this and then I'll be back to show you guys. Okay, so we are placing the last block for our blaze. And now, let's just get down again. We have a blaze head. And I think it looks quite nice. Um, I think I might have messed up over there there I'll have to check but I think that is right actually but anyway so I guess you kind of can kind of see what I'm going with now I will probably change this floor lighten it up a little bit and close this off and then probably have an opening over here that you will then go down into and down here but I will have to see and I think the minecart feeding thing isn't working. Let's just see if we uh, kill these guys. I think that might work. Maybe. Um, I don't know. It's, it's quite weird how sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, oh, you can see I'm lagged with all the blazers. Um, maybe it's because of all this here that I should just remove. That could also be part of it. Um, but I'm not quite sure right now. But anyway, I'll obviously have to check that out. Ah, uh, sometimes does that and I really don't know why um, which is quite frustrating but anyway I um, obviously don't have time to do the entire room today uh, what I might actually do is finish it off and then show you at the beginning of our next episode because um, this will take too long to now try and do um, but for the most part this is basically done and there isn't that much left to do I will obviously have to figure out why it's not doing what it should be doing down there um 
But yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you did, please be, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe and comment below if you have any suggestions for that fix at the back there. Um, or any ideas for this actual room. Uh, it's obviously going to take me a while anyway. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!